Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso announces $1 billion military budget for 2023. Recent actions by the Burkinabe military junta seem to indicate that Burkina Faso is preparing to launch an extensive offensive against the insurgencies operating in the nation. The government of Burkina Faso has recently announced its plans to implement a $1.1 billion defense budget for 2023 to address the insurgency problem as its army conducts airstrikes on insurgent positions daily. After ousting the French military last year, it seems likely that the Burkinabe Junta will turn to Russia for military equipment and Russian private military contractor Wagner Group for military instruction. Without stating why, the administration of Burkinabe military junta leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, commandeered almost $30 million in gold from his mines in February. According to AP, Executive Secretary of Nonprofit Save Burkina, Mamadou Drabo, said that the Burkina Faso transitional government, quote, asked the Russian government because of the bilateral collaboration between Burkina and Russia, that they send us people to train our men, unquote. Traore's relations with Moscow differ distinctly from those of the previous military junta led by his predecessor, Colonel Paul Henri Damiba, who was hesitant in enlisting the help of Russia in fighting the insurgencies. Fittingly, Wagner Group was among the first entities to congratulate Traore on his successful coup last September. Given Wagner Group's presence and success in the Central African Republic and Mali, vis-a-vis -vis these nations' insurgencies, the Russian military contractor should have boots on the ground in Burkina Faso soon. It is quite possible that Wagner Group military advisors will be embedded with the 50,000 recently recruited auxiliary force volunteers for the defense of the motherland. In December 2022, Burkinabe Prime Minister Apollinaire Joachimson Kielem de Tambela visited Moscow to strengthen diplomatic relations and receive assistance in fighting Burkina Faso's insurgencies. Last month, Burkina Faso acquired $415 million worth of military equipment, including drones, fighter jets, armored vehicles, weapons, and ammunition to combat the Al-Qaeda and Islamic State-linked insurgencies that control 40% of its land. In December 2022, the Burkinabe military junta granted Russian mining company Nordgold exploration permits for four years, which should yield $8 billion for the Burkinabe economy. According to Sputnik News, the government of Burkina Faso announced on Thursday that it had established a national call center whereby citizens can report any activity by insurgents by calling one of three toll-free numbers or a government WhatsApp account. By the same token, insurgents who wish to lay down their weapons can also contact the call center.